Hey Moth Hunters, how are you? It's Katie, your fellow Moth Hunter. It's been a while since I had a Moth Hunter episode because moths have been pretty cool in my house. Um, but I found one today flying, flying in this living room. This is a living room of my house and there's no, not supposed to be any food in here, but there is a moth in here. And um, this isn't why I'm cleaning though, I'm cleaning in here First of all, if you're new to the Moth Hunter, hello, welcome. The Moth Hunter is all about finding moths in your home because they happen if your home is clean or dirty because every part of your home has some dirt in it because you can't clean it all the time unless you have a cleaning service every day cleaning all the nicks and crannies. So I help teach you how to identify moth sources because once you get rid of them, those moths are gone. So pretty much don't need any chemicals, but you might want some really great oils to keep the moths away so that when they are hatching after you clean the whole mouth infestation, they don't come back. But here's what's going on tonight. I just got some boxes, some plastic boxes for my pantry, which as you can see is pretty much a mess, right? So I've been wanting to clean this for um, six years that I've lived here. When we moved in, I threw all the wedding stuff in here and it's just been here on the bottom, I threw in bowls, I threw in when we had parties, like leftover cups, you know, all this random stuff, muffin tins that have nowhere to go, plates, platters, whatever that has nowhere to go, I put it in there. So I got this, which is great, right? Wait, let me make sure I have my flashlight because I've discovered moths and this was not my intention. I didn't think they'd be in here today. Ugh. So this is sort of a score. All right, are you with me? Because I'm going to show you what's going on and how you can identify these moths. So, so bummed. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what um, I'm seeing and how the moths have eaten different things, little teeny tiny things in here, but that's just enough to make moths fly in your home, lay more eggs, hundreds of them all over, and just never go away. Okay. This is the floor, and in the olden days when I had a dog, sometimes I kept dog food in here. When my mom comes to visit, she puts her dog food in here. So what's that? That is dog food right there, but why is it like all crummy? Because, my friends, the moths have eaten it. So let's go really close up. And what you're looking at is dog food. It should have looked like that solid one, but they're working on that solid one right now. Here are some other ones looking kind of solid. These are just stray dog food kernels that have fallen out of the bag. So that one got totally eaten up by a moth, okay? You know, you know which moth ate it? The one right behind it. Can you see uh, there's a black dot? Let's see if I can show it to you with my finger. Can you still see it in here? Hmm. Let me try. Hold on. Let me pop up. Okay. Right there. That little thing is a cocoon. And it's a moth um, coming out of the cocoon because he spent all of his time eating that dog food and he became that thing. So in a couple days, I guess, maybe one day, maybe he already did. Maybe that's the um, shell of it. I'm not getting that close to be able to tell, but that is or was a flying moth. So let's also back it up to here. <sighs> These are some nice West Elm shells that are so neglected, but there's a bunch of like spider webs back here. And that's an indication if you've been watching other moth hunter episodes if you're seeing spider webs in really weird places like this, it's an indication that they're catching some moths. So, oh, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you was, what are these? Girl Scout cookies. I am not, I try very hard not to be an eater of Girl Scout cookies. If they're given to me, if I buy them from a neighbor, I try to not eat them or they basically go into the trash. So I have a vague recollection of me buying those Girl Scout cookies years ago and putting them back here and never remembering that I did that. So do we dare look inside the box? Because a moth might have had a good time. Oh look, a moth had a good time with that uh, dog food kernel right there. That's all powdery because it got eaten up. Just eaten up by some moths, so let's see if anything's going on. 
Oh, we'll see if it's bad. I don't know. It might not be bad. Uh-oh. This looks bad. Dolce de leche. It looks all, like, flowery. Like, they would love it. And they loved it. Yep. All right. So you see those crumbs on the side of this silver bag? Um, that is like an active moth or was active moths eating those cookies and leaving remnants on the side of the bag. You can see there's like buildup of those crumbs. They're not just static clinging crumbs. They're kind of build up that I don't know. I really don't know why it gets like that. I have to watch some more time lapses of actual moths in action. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure why they create the sawdust effect, that, as I call it, but they do. So let's see, let's see what's going on. Here's some Thin Mints, a crowd favorite. Let's put that with some ice cream. It's unopened. Let's see if they got in here. They might not. This might be boring. There might not be anything in here. Probably not. I mean, moths do get through plastic, so just because it's unopened doesn't mean a thing. I'm looking closely. I don't see any, though. I mean, not that I'm going to eat those because they're in the trash. Let's just make sure. Yeah, okay. So, they did not like the chocolate. They like, Moths do like chocolate, but they like a real chocolate, not maybe fake candy chocolate. And also, um... Yeah, if you have like cacao, I've had cacao in my in my cupboards a lot, and they always they get it, and coffee as well. They just get into that ground, ground up chocolate. So, I'm gonna keep going here, and I'm gonna spray down everything, clean it all out. This is gonna look great. Thanks to my friend Mel for um, getting me this box from the Beacon by Cell group. That was really fun. My stack of three boxes, and congratulations to her on her new baby. And anyway, so maybe I'll do a periscope if I do a good job and it looks amazing, or if I find more interesting moths that you're dying to look at. So check for more episodes on YouTube. Um, that's where I put the Moth Hunter when it's off periscope. All right, talk to you. Have a good night. Bye.